How do you design one of the most advanced DRs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room, it's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health. Good evening, Indiana High School football fans. Summit City Sports is live from Fort Wayne, Indiana, where we have the Class 5A Regional Championship game between the number six Mishawaka Cavemen right here at Spooler Stadium against the number one Snyder Panthers. Mishawaka comes in led by head coach Bart Curtis, who in his ninth year is 84 and 29 overall at the school. This year, the Caveman are 10 and 2 coming into tonight's regional action due to the outstanding running attack of wide receiver Vernon Daniels, quarterback Ryan Robluski, and tailback Austin Faulkner. Daniels, he has rushed 54 times for 456 yards and eight scores. For Robluski, he has ran 125 times for 763 and eight scores as well, while the tailback Faulkner has dropped 996 yards on 209 rushes and 13 TDs on the defense this season. Mishawaka will need to continue these types of numbers against this matchup against the stout Snyder Panther defense. As for the Panthers, they are led by head coach Kurt Tippmann, who in his eighth year at the school is 85 and 19 and is the defending state champ in Class 5A. Their offense is loaded with quarterback Michael Hoppert, wide receiver Mac Hippenhammer, and a pair of tailbacks and Christian Covington and Money Money Woods. But as I mentioned, that Panther D is going to be huge, and they're going to need to corral the running game of the Caveman, in which they do have the firepower on that defensive side of the ball with Zach Madal, Brandon Cooks, Austin France, Ethan Hoover, and defensive uh, Lyman Will and Lawrence Johnson, who straight out goes after the quarterback, both with four sacks on the season, as well as Colin Stroud with four as well. They are outstanding team is Snyder. Panthers, of course, ranked number one in Class 5A. Get this is SummitCitySports.com. Coming to you live from Spooler Stadium. We are just minutes away from this Class 5A Regional Championship game. Who will move on? to semi-state in the state of Indiana as the season closed down here right in front of us. The Caveman take the field, trying to beat the Panthers out on their own gridiron. Mishawaka in all white, head to toe. This is a rematch of last year's regional final as well. That was played at Wayne Stadium. Snyder won that 42-32, and here come the Panthers in front of a packed side here at Spooler Stadium. The fans are excited to get this one going. Just a minute or two away from action. Summit City Sports brought to you by Parkview Sports Medicine and Sports Center, Inc. Jake Atkinson on the camera. I am Tim Atkinson. I'll be calling your play-by-play -play all evening long. We're excited to get this underway as we have been covering the Summit Athletic Conference from day one here in the 2016-17 season. And now the culmination is just weeks away as all these squads left in regionals try to move on one step closer to Lucas Oil Stadium to play for that state final. So as the Panthers hit the sideline, they are ready for the action. As I mentioned, they are undefeated, running through that Summit Athletic Conference pretty easily. Only really were down against that Bishop Dwinger Saints. Came back and did defeat their arch rival, took home the victory bell and won the Summit Athletic Conference as they are prepped and ready here on a wonderful Veterans Day. Of course, we want to take time out to give a big thank you to all the veterans that have served this great country. From SummitCitySports.com, we thank you. So as the caught toss goes on, as we are almost set, 
the goosebumps are starting to fill the bodies of the fans. I can guarantee you that. First quarter, we do play four 12-minute quarters here in the state of Indiana. 48 minutes away from deciding who will move on to semi-state. As the Snyder Panthers try to stay to unbeaten, move to 12-0 as the Mishawaka Cavemen are 10-2. They did have to beat Elkhart Memorial to open up sectionals, 42-13. Hosted South Bend Adams, 43-14 was the win. Then Michigan City, they hosted them, 18-7 on a low-scoring game. Now traveling about an hour and a half southeast of Mishawaka to Fort Wayne, Indiana to take on these number one ranked Snyder Panthers and the phenom number two, Mac Hippenhammer, back deep for the Panthers. He is a load returning on punts and kicks. Mac Hippenhammer is heading to Penn State University, has 451 yards on the kick return and two scores. He'll field it at the 11. The 15 bounces around, looking for some space, finds it. A good saving tackle there in white. I believe that was number 31. In white, Patton Snyder, the kicker. So first and 10 for Snyder. First and 10 from the 20. Here comes that outstanding offense. They have weapons all over the field. There's no doubt about it. Michael Hopper at quarterback. They're going to spread it out four wide with half empty backfield. Watch for Hopper for the quarterback draw or Hippenhammer on this jet sweep play action. And he will take it to that far side. Michael Hopper, shoestring tackle from the caveman. And that is number five, their leader. The defensive back, Brian Luke Campbell, 54 tackles on the season. He is a ball hawk for head coach Bart Curtis. That's Money Money Woods there in the back behind Hopper. He'll hand it to Woods. Woods, that's his best. He can slither out of anywhere, then lower the head for some power. That will be the first, first down of the game. It will go for the Panthers, first and 10. Ball is spotted at the 31-yard line. Hopper gets the call from the sideline. Of course, Michael Hopper, a transfer from Bishop Dwenger High School, took over the Snyder offense and has really, really progressed throughout the season. Trips to your near side. Lone wide receiver to your far side. Hopper in the shotgun. We'll look on that quick. Finds it in Money Woods. Won't see many receptions from Woods, but if you'll take away that outside, and number seven, Michael Lito, the freshman, and Hippenhammer on this near side. Hopper will make the smart play for the little hitch route. Gain of five, second and five from the 36 for the Panthers. This time, Money Woods on the left hip of Hopper. Second and five for the Panthers. And this time, Hopper pulls it out of the belly of Woods. Gain of two, good tackle from Mishawaka. And number 97, that is Landon Bargaris. Bargaris, excuse me. He does have four sacks on the season for Mishawaka. 10 minutes remaining in this first quarter, third and three. Got the big fella in there at the H back. That's William Johnson. The defensive lineman Hoppert's looking wide, throws it, hip and hammer. That's going to be a first down. Little pitch and catch on a five yard gain. Hopper to hip and hammer, first and 10. Snyder Panthers keep the first drive going. Under 10 minutes in this first quarter. Offense looking good. Number six, excuse me, that's DeAndre Stroud in there at the fullback. They'll eye it. And here's Woods, Woods trying to make a miss. Nice tackle from the safety slot in number 19. That's Devin Wakes, 55 tackles on the season. That'll be a gain of two, second and eight for the Panthers. Hopper 
in the pistol. Woods is behind him. Two wide receiver set. And they'll hand to Woods. Woods makes a first miss. Minimal gain, about a three yarder for Woods, short of the 50. Third and five, officially for the Panthers. Ball spotted on the 48. Two wide receiver set for Snyder. Woods still in that backfield. Haven't seen Covington. Hopper, that quick out once again. This time, the defensive lineman for Mishawaka could not get to Hopper. When you can't get to him, you raise the arms, you bat the pass down, you cause fourth down. Fourth and five, the caveman stopped the Snyder Panthers' first drive of this regional championship. Back deep, number six it's for the caveman, Lucas Shively. Boozman to kick. Good kick, end over end. Bounces at the 30. That's a Panther bounce, and that will be downed. They mark it there at the 17 yard line. First and 10 for the Cavemen. They will start their first drive. Watch for a multitude of run plays here for the Cavemen. Led by their talented trio of runners. They do average 287 yards rushing a game, but they are definitely one dimensional. Only 40 passing yards on the season. Watch for Snyder to put many, many Panthers in the box on defense and really force Mishawaka to put the ball in the air. Option, that put it right up the middle. Took it all the way near the 40 to the 39. That was number four, Samuel Shively, the sophomore. First and 10, Caveman on the 40. So as you expected, right on the ground. Under eight minutes left in this first quarter. Up the middle again. About a four yard gain. That's number 44, Austin Faulkner. He's that senior, just shy of that 1,000 yard clip. As he just picked it up on that rush. Second and six, ball's on the 44. So, so quick on that handoff, Snyder ready for it as they will run all kinds of play action on offense, really try to confuse the defense, not that time as a slew of Panthers. On the stop, third and five. Ryan Robluski under center. Faulkner behind him. Two wide receiver set, they're paired here to this near side. Five on the play clock, in motion. Hand off on the lead, that one is stopped short. Ball spotted at the 48, that'll be about two yards short of the first down. Mishawaka, look for them to go for it. They are seven, 17 to 22 on fourth down conversion, 77% on the season, not afraid. This Kitch Curtis, twins to this near side. Same formation. Fourth and two. Another lead, handoff, Faulkner on the second effort. No, they're gonna mark him down. What a spot. That second effort, he must have been down, was Faulkner. The Panthers take over, turnover on downs. They'll take over on their own. Check it on the 49-yard line of the caveman.
first and 10, 5.52 in this first quarter. Huge stop for that Snyder Panther defense. Hopper, play action, looking deep, Hippenhammer, and intercepted. That's number six, Lucas Shively, looking for space, has room to that far side. Flag on the play, maybe a block in the back, but Hippenhammer just did not go after that ball. Settled back, thinking it was going to fall into his hands. You got to go attack that ball. Michael Hopper left hanging. Dry there by his wide receiver, turnover. Tough play, man-to-man -man coverage, just what they wanted. Coach Tipman dialed up the right play, but execution was not there. First and 10 for Mishawaka. Let's see where they spot it after, after the penalty here. They're going to spot it at the 25, first and 10 for the Cavemen. So first play on their second possession. Michael Hopper throws the pick to Lucas Shively. That's his fourth of the season. Ball hawker there. Three wide receiver set. They'll spread it out a bit. Will the Cavemen. There's that lead. Out at the 30-yard line, second and five for Mishawaka. Ryan Robluski, senior quarterback. Under center. Runs this offense perfectly. And they're going to reverse it. He's out and got space. Look at the speed by the youngster. Cuts it back to the open side of the field. Tracked down by Hoover. But that's a huge play. Samuel Shively with the rush on the reverse. Beautiful play by the caveman. First and 10 from the 20 of Snyder. Come at you in so many different ways. Does Mishawaka, you flinch one time and they can break it big as they did right there. Three wide receiver set for Mishawaka. Rabuski under center. This time he hands to Faulkner. Not a gain of one for Faulkner, very minimal. Second, nine. McDowell on the stop for Snyder. Second nine, ball spotted at the 19. Four minutes left here in this first quarter. Same formation, Faulkner, Rubluski. They're gonna go wide on the pitch, the option. Shively tries to cut it back. And out over the first down marker. Looks like they'll spot it just short of the five. First and goal for Mishawaka. And they will spot it just outside that five yard line. Mishawaka with the chance to break early. That's where they're so dangerous here in the red zone. Rabluski keeps it. And that is about a yard gain there for Rabluski. Second and goal. 308. Left in the first. Rabluski. He'll go under center. Looks like he's changing the play here. Faulkner right behind. 
And Rabliski, no fooling that time. Number nine, check it. Number eight, that's William Johnson with the sack on the play coming up. Huge for Johnson, make it number five on the season for the big fella, the senior, 6'1", 210. Well, the load there on the defensive end for Snyder. Not fooled, stayed with Rabuski and picked up the big sack. Third and goal from the 10 for Mishawaka. Five on the play clock. Mishawaka may have to burn a timeout here, and it looks like they will. They do. So Mishawaka has to burn a timeout at 2.02 left in this first quarter. We'll take it with them. Here, a word from our sponsor, Parkview Sports Medicine. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Third and goal on the 10. Huge play for the Caveman and the Snyder Panther defense looking to stop him after that turnover. Play action, has space, and then smothered up. Number 13, Vince Campbell. What a stop by the Snyder Panthers. Mishawaka. And they'll come in for the field goal attempt. They do not kick many. Kozlowski just one of four on the season. That one came in between 30 and 39 yards. This one here, a 32 yarder. Caveman looking to get on the board early. Fourth and goal. Hold is down, kick is up. That's high and wide right. So the Panthers hold them after the interception. Big defensive stop as it was first and goal from the five. As we mentioned in the opener, that Panther defensive line is gonna be so huge and disciplined against this Mishawaka offense. First and 10 from the 20. I'm gonna give a correction there. Number five, Brian Luke Campbell is the man. Running the ball there on offense. The broke that one out. Just want to give a correction there. Twins to your far side for Snyder. Covington. Hopper lost the ball. It does pick it up. And then it's finally dropped for a loss. Referee is saying that he was down. You can see that ball come out, but the referee saying down on that contact. Second and long for the Panthers. Watch Haft on this near side, tied up with the light. And he's got space here the near side if he can leak out. Hippenhammer comes to this side in motion. Hippenhammer on the out. This is where he can make some damage. Does stay on his feet just to get to the 30-yard line. That may be enough for a first down. What effort from Mac Hippenhammer. The Penn State commit, and that is a first down. Huge play for the Panthers. 30 seconds left in this first quarter. First and 10 on the 30. Hopper gets the call from the sideline. Empty backfield, three wide receiver set. And Hopper wants a timeout. Luckily he called that because the snap came. So the first timeout called by the Panthers. 
with four seconds left in this first quarter. 0-0 is the score. Mishawaka obviously with the best opportunity early on in this game, but the Panther defense came up huge at first and goal, forcing the field goal attempt from 32, came up wide right. And here the Panthers look now to break this deadlock at 0-0. Zero, zero. First and 10 from the 30. That's tonight's broadcast brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel that you're watching this live stream game here this evening. Hopper in the backfield, empty. Hip and hammer in motion. They're going to play action. Hopper finds space. He can break it. Nice move. And another fumble. The second turnover for Snyder, and it came out a second time. Let's see who got it on that second one. And they do call Mitchell Walker ball. Another huge turnover against the Panthers. Shooting themselves in the foot. Hoppert had space and lost the handle. Had the first down. And now first and 10 for Mitchell Walker on the huge fumble and the recovery from Mitchell Walker. What a break in momentum for Coach Curtis. As I like to take the time to give a big shout out and thank you. Always an outstanding host here for Snyder High School at all events. That is Steve Zimbo, athletic director extraordinaire. A big thank you and shout out for being an outstanding host. As we are live from Spooler Stadium Summit City Sports.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Tim Atkinson underscore 22. As we are in the second quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. The caveman take over. Hand off up the middle, gain of two. Second eight, balls on the 41. Let's see what the caveman choose to do. You know they're gonna run it, it's just a matter of who is gonna get the pill. Option near side, has space and just lost the edge. Right there at the 40, but he had a ton of green in front of him. Tough break for the caveman. And number 87, Vernon Daniels. Daniels, of course, their third leading rusher on the season. I mentioned they attack you from all angles. Third and seven, balls on the 40. Split wide receiver set in motion. They're gonna look for that screen on that far side and his knee was down. That's gonna be a loss of about two and a half. We'll bring up fourth in about 10. And look for the caveman to play field position and punt it deep. But this is where you need to keep it out of the hands of the talent. Mac Hippenhammer has taken one punt return to the house this season. Does have 183 yards total, but he can break it at any time. High snap, handled easily. Nice kick, high kick, hip and hammer, and he'll take the fair catch at that 15 yard line. First and 10 for the Panthers, so twice the caveman cannot take advantage of the turnovers by the Snyder Panther defense. Snyder and coach Kurt Tittman's got a feeling pretty decent with now giving up that score and going down early 
against this rushing attack as they can drain the clock as well. So first and 10 from the 15. Ball control, ball control, ball control here for Snyder. Near side, Hippenhammer does get to the corner. Just shy of the 20, looks like it's at the 18. And a gain of three for Hippenhammer. Hippenhammer does have 282 yards rushing on the season, six scores on 42 carriers, carries. Hopper now, twin wide receiver set to that far side. Space out near that first down marker, and they will spot it at that 25. That's right at the line, and that will be a first down for the Panthers. Chains are moving now for Snyder. 9.40 left in this second quarter. Two wide receivers set. That's Money Woods. He'll dot the eye and take the handoff. Lowers the shoulder, good tackle. For Mishawaka, that was number eight. Joseph Howe on the stop, 34 tackles on the season. Just a gain of one, second nine for the Panthers, number one and undefeated in class 5A, ranked number five in the state. And that will be an illegal procedure on Snyder, back him butt, back him five yards. We'll bring up second and 14 for the Panthers, going the wrong direction. So we're locked up at zeros here early. A pair of turnovers for Snyder. Not take advantage. Three wide receiver set. Twins here near side. Money Woods behind Hopper. He'll take the handoff. Woods has space. Good stutter step, cuts it out near side. You better come at Money Woods with a pair of tacklers or he will run right around you, no doubt about it. Ball spotted at the 40, so a 19 yard run for Money Woods. First and 10 for the Panthers. Hoppert hands again to Woods, does find the space behind that big offensive line. Look at him cut on a dime, kids. Out over the 50. I'm telling you, you got to come at Money Woods with several tacklers. 11 yard gain for the senior. First and 10. Ride the senior right here, Coach Kurt Tetman. Money Woods wants the ball, I can guarantee you that. Three wide receiver set, hip and hammers alone to that far side. Mishawaka may think about coming up, playing more in the box. Hopper under tons of pressure. Great scramble. Finds the open receiver for the first down. That's to David Nockison, the junior. Pitch and catch from Hopper. Gets away from trouble. Throws a dime on the run for the first down. Snyder Panthers are rolling here on offense. First and 10 from the 38 of the Cavemen. He'll hand to Woods, Woods. Finally dragged down. I believe that was number 21, Noah Staten. Nearly 52 tackles coming in to this seat, into this game here tonight. Third on the squad in that category. Second and five for the Panthers. 740 left here in this second quarter. Three wide receiver set, Money Woods behind Hoppert. He'll take the handoff, has space. Hot Woods with the stiff arm and then swung out of bounds. Usually it called. I'm actually pretty shocked that that was not called. Trust me, I'd rather see no hankies on the field all game long. Just surprised that that wasn't called. Seen it called many times this year. 
as we have third and one for the Panthers. Two wide receiver set. That's Christian Covington. He'll dot the eye. Nine Stroud, handoff. Ooh, Covington barely had the handle on that ball. About slipped out. About mid-thigh. Luckily, Covington got the grass back on it for the first down. And Shively, excuse me. Yeah, on the tackle. Covington stays in that tailback spot. Looking for that quick out to Hippenhammer. Hippenhammer, can he make one miss? And then upended by number five, Ryan Luke Campbell. First and 10 for the Panthers. This is when the Panther offense is really clicking, when Hopper is getting the confidence. Even the one interception really wouldn't put it on the youngster as this handoff to Covington. Out over to the 10. Gain of four, second and six for Snyder. Ball's on the 12-yard line, so the Panthers can't get a first down. They're at the two. Woods back at the tailback spot. He'll take the handoff, cuts back, and in over the end zone for the first score of the game. Money Woods from 12 yards out, 6 nothing. The Panthers on top. He's not sure what the referee is waving. You know, either way, want the play clock to start, I guess. So Boozman in for the PAT with Snyder up, 6 nothing. 6.23 left in this second quarter. Bozeman. Kick is up and it is good. Snyder up with the score. Seven nothing on the eight yard run from Money Woods. Good drive for the Panthers answering the bell here at home and getting on the board first. With the eight yard score from Money Woods, you can see him really feeling it here tonight. With Snyder up seven nothing with 623 left here in this first half. We'll take a short break here from a word from our sponsor. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com brought to you by Parkview Sports Medicine and Sports Center Inc. Snyder on the board first with 6.23 left in this first half. Boozman with the boot. And the up man will field it at about the 12 and then tackled immediately, pushed out of bounds by number eight, William Johnson. We have a late flag. That could be 15 added on to the run. Let's see what the call is. This, I believe, is going to be 15 added. Johnson to just not let up as he hit that out of bounds. Let's see what the call is. And that's exactly what the call is. First and 10 for Mishawaka. Six, nine, 10 left in this first half.
First and 10, Mishawaka, good field position after that penalty. Up to Faulkner, about a two yard gain. Seven nothing, Snyder on top, under six minutes, second and seven for the caveman. They're gonna go tight on that formation. Two wide receivers set. On the pitch, Daniels gonna get to the edge. He does, such deceptive speed as he takes a hit. But that is a first down for Mishawaka as they get out over the 50 yard line to about the 48 of Snyder, first and 10. Five forty left in the half. Staying in that formation, they're going to hand it right up the gut to Faulkner and stopped immediately. Did get to the line of scrimmage. Will be second and ten. That was McDowell leading the charge for Snyder on the stop. The big fella right there in the middle of your screen, number seventy-seven. Forty-eight tackles coming in. Two tonight, and anchors the center of that defensive line for head coach Kurt Tittman as Ryan Robluski under center. We're gonna go option to that far side and the pitch. He's got space and corralled out of bounds, just shy of the 30-yard line. Nice option to number 14, Isaiah Evans, the junior. First and 10, Caveman. Ball spotted on the 33 of Snyder. Mishawaka down 7-0, under five minutes left in this second quarter. Two wide receivers sat, they're gonna split them. Daniels in motion. Rubluski keeps it, and nothing going. And a fumble, and Snyder picks it up and takes it out back over to the 50-yard line. Rubluski tried for a second effort, and the ball came out and scooped up by number six, DeAndrew Stroud, 5'11", 235-pound senior. Big play for that Snyder Panther defense as they take over first and 10 from the Caveman 48 yard line. What a huge play by that Snyder Panther defense. Rabliski kept it on that option, went right up the gut, swallowed up and then stripped. Twin wide receiver set to your near side. Hopper in the pistol, Covington behind him. He's gonna hand to Covington. Covington has space, shot out of a cannon kid. Out to the 35. Snyder, straight momentum on their side. Kozlowski with the stop. Twins to that far side. Hopper, he'll hand to Covington. Covington looking for space, finds it. So elusive and talented. Number 23, he's just a junior, Christian Covington. Covington, 931 yards on the season coming into tonight on 111 carries, six scores. He stays behind Hopper in that pistol. Hopper, he'll hand Covington right into the line, tackled by number 38 in white. That's Kevin Banks, he leads the squad in tackles with 64, picks up another there to bring up third and six for Snyder. 338 left in this first half. SummitCitySports.com is live from Spooler Stadium. Covington stays in that backfield. Looks for that out to Hippenhammer once again. 
and does get it. Forward progress, puts him right at that first down marker at the 25 yard line. That will be a first down for Snyder. Big pitch and catch on that six yard gain. Hopper to Hippenhammer as they're taking advantage on those five to seven to 10 yard outs. Hippenhammer taking advantage of that man-to-man -man coverage on that sideline and Hopper is throwing it on a dime here this evening. Not a good sign for the caveman as we have a whistle on the field, a timeout called by Mishawaka. That is their second with 3.07 left in the half. Feeling good, momentum strictly on the backs of the Panthers and head coach Kurt Tittman. As I mentioned, this is a rematch from the regional final a year ago. That one was played at Wayne High School, which found the Snyder Panthers winning 42-32 to move it on to semi-state, which eventually found them winning that 5A state title there at Lucas Oil Stadium a year ago as they look to stay unbeaten tonight against the Caveman and move on. Snyder with possession. A whistle down on the field as the scoreboard shut down there for a second. And now we're back up running. Thank you for joining us tonight on our YouTube channel. As we'll try to get you updates around the action. Hopper play action has Hippenhammer wide open and caught for the score. Hippenhammer on the post from 25 yards out. I'm telling you, Michael Hopper, if he throws the ball like he has tonight, Snyder will be so hard to handle in these remaining games. 13 zip. Snyder on top here against the number six, Mishawaka Caveman. Boozman in for the PAT to make it a 14 point game. Hold down, boot is up and Boozman sticks it in. The uprides for the PAT. Snyder takes the lead, 14 zip with 301 left in this first half. Great couple of possessions for that Snyder Panther defense, but that would have been nothing without the outstanding defensive play from the Snyder Panthers locked up defense. As we'll take this short break here. Now I'll check it, we'll stay with you here and stay live from Spooler Stadium as we do have an update for you, Northwood and New Haven. 16-13, Northwood on top with 6-17 left in that second quarter. Back deep is Daniels for Mishawaka. They could use a return here in the worst way. 301 left in the first half. They have burnt two of their timeouts. So just one timeout left for Coach Curtis. Boozman with the kick, fielded at the 10 yard line, looking for space, and right in and decleated. What a hit, Demarius, Demarius Ridley, 5'11", 160 pounds, senior, laid the smack down. 30 tackles on the season, no bigger than that one right there. Big decleating hit on Daniels, and he's a little shaken up. Mishawaka, they're going to go option to this near side. They pitch to Daniels. He's got space. Cuts it back to this outside. Then drop near the 40 by number 20, Dominique Slaughter. 28 tackles on the season. That ball spotted at the 41, first and 10 for the Cavemen. Oh, 
Kapluski goes over the call, breaks the huddle. First and ten. Looking to throw, man-to-man -man coverage on this near side. Daniels, and that's thrown way short. And a late flag. They're going to call pass interference on that. That was about seven, eight yards short of the wide receiver. That's going to be a tough call, but that will be against the Panthers. Obviously, the crowd not liking it here at Spooler Stadium. As we have another flag, falls down late. But let's see what the call is. And they'll go back to the line of scrimmage, and now they'll mark it out. That is going to be pass interference against the Panthers. So a 15-yard penalty. Ball will be spotted at the 44-yard line as head coach Kurt Tittman obviously unhappy talking about the uncatchable ball. No question about it. I know he is. Snyder made a play on the ball, so tough call against the Panthers, but it will be first and 10 from the 44-yard line. As they're going to have an unsportsmanlike penalty call against coach Kurt Tittman. I have not seen that in a couple seasons of covering high school football. Coach Kurt Tippmann must have said a couple of the magic words. Uh, he will get another penalty tacked on. As Coach Kurt Tippmann costs a penalty there. That's a five-yard penalty. Only a five-yard penalty on that unsportsmanlike conduct. They're going to option this near side, and there he is. Finally read beautifully. Number 60, Andrew Stroud. Read that pitch, and Rabluski, and blew it up for a loss of about seven. Huge play. Second and 11. With 150 left in this first half, the Snyder Panther defense, as I mentioned in the opener, it's going to be huge to control this line of scrimmage. As they look to throw, that's batted. A little hook and ladder out near the 30. Saw that a year ago if you watch this regional championship game from Wayne. I know Snyder saw that on film and remember it from a year ago. But a big gain for Mishawaka. First and 10. Ball spotted at the 32-yard line. Minute 25 left. Clock is ticking. The caveman with one timeout left. On the screen and dropped at the 40 yard line. Read beautifully. Dominique Slaughter. Outstanding play as they are hype here on the defensive side of the ball. Second and forever for Michelle Walker. Clock is rolling with a minute left. We're under a minute now. If you put Mishawaka in the must-throw scenario, that's going to go back. Let's see what the call is going to be. This may go against the defense. May have been lined up. Nope, that's going to be false start there. Legal procedure against Mishawaka. So go back another five yards. We'll bring up second and 22 with 49 seconds left. And the clock is now running on the whistle and the wind, 45 seconds. Mishawaka will get the ball to start the second half, but obviously want to try to put one in here as they look to pass. And nearly intercepted and dropped just as he threw the ball, pressured by Lawrence Johnson. Excuse me, pressured, yeah, by number 90, Lawrence Johnson. And near an interception thrown, Snyder dropped back in that zone, read the eyes of the quarterback and nearly picked off. That could have been huge against Mishawaka because that would probably have been taking the distance. 
third and 22, 33 seconds left from Mishawaka here. I'm keeping the ball on the ground, not risking it. As we have a timeout, the last timeout called by head coach Bart Curtis. Down 14 zip with 33 seconds left in this second quarter. So a pair of turnovers for Snyder. The Panther defense came up big, helped the offense out, strung it along as a first and goal from the five. The Panther defense did not break. Forced the field goal opportunity from 32 yards, which was missed. That was the only fifth field goal attempt on the season for Mishawaka. So now one for five on the season from the field goal category. As that was huge. That would have been the first score of the game for either squad. It could have led to some momentum for the Cavemen, but now we sit 14 zip. The number one Snyder Panthers defending state title winner. Up 14 nothing here over the number six Mishawaka Caveman. Trying to make it two years in a row in regionals. On the win for Snyder. Third and 22, 33 seconds left. If I'm Mishawaka, I'm keeping the ball on the ground. Snyder's going to drop back in the zone, and they got some ball hawking players. Four man rush. And going deep. And batted away. Smart play by number 16, Demarius Ridley, the senior. Got up in the air, skied, and knocked it down with 27 seconds left in the half. Fourth and 22 for Mishawaka. Hippenhammer is going to head back to return this punt. I believe head coach Kurt, Kurt Tittman, excuse me, will get a timeout. Here with 27 seconds left. In the half, take a breath here for a second, but an outstanding first half. Slow start for the Panthers. As big number 90, Lawrence Johnson came over for a drink of water, and in the meantime, got the crowd a little hype. Dehydrating, heading back to the sidelines now, talking to his big fella, the teammate Zachary McDowell's having a great game. But back to the action. 27 seconds left in this first half. Snyder on top, 14 zip. Hippenhammer heading to Penn State. He'll be a Nittany Lion next year. On the, as they're gonna go back and put number 16, Demarius Ridley back on the opposite side to try to help this return game. Ridley can break it as well. Ridley does have 283 yards. Returning as Hippenhammer, no fair catch, takes it at the 17. He's got space and a couple blocks. Mac Hippenhammer out over the 40, breaks through another tackle and another one. Hippenhammer trying to take it the distance and does with seven seconds left in the half. Mac Hippenhammer, what a return. Took it near that 15 yards and took it the distance. Are you kidding me? Make it his sixth, excuse me, his second punt return touchdown of the season. Coming in this regional final. Outstanding return, Mac Hippenhammer. Boozman in for the PAT with six seconds. Boozman to try to make it 21 zip. Low kick, line drive, and it does clear the crossbar. It is good. Snyder up big now to, on that huge return by Mac Hippenhammer. Showing you the skills. He's such a dangerous player. That was the first time that they threw Ridley back there for the double return. Hippenhammer came up, and maybe they thought he was going to Go for the fair catch. He did not. Caught it in traffic and took it the distance. With .6, with six seconds left in the half. Hippenhammer explodes. What a play. As we are 21 zip, Snyder on top.
Back deep. For Mishawaka, Daniels. And Brian Luke Campbell. Boozman will look to punt. Short kick right into traffic, then bounces it wide out over the 40, near the 45 yard line. But that is the end of the half. The Snyder Panthers with the 21 zip lead over the number six, Mishawaka Caveman. Snyder feeling extremely happy after the slow start start and a pair of turnovers they have bounced back and lead 21 zip at the end of one we'll take a short break and join you as we get closer to that second half
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, SummitCitySports.com. Coming to you live from Spooler Stadium, the number one Snyder Panthers up big, 21 zip over the number six and visiting Mishawaka Cavemen. The Cavemen had a chance early on the pick by Hopper. Thrown deep one-on-one -on -one to Mac Hippenhammer. Hippenhammer didn't adjust. The Northwood defense, excuse me, the Mishawaka defender did. That was the first turnover of the game. Then the next one, Hopper did have a fumble, but the Snyder Panther defense has come up huge and they have come to play against this rushing attack from Mishawaka. Very limited here tonight. Started the game out with the bang, but so far after that has been corralled as we are getting set for the third quarter of this regional championship game. Scores around the area. At Zollner Stadium, Concordia Cadets, number seven. Up over to number four, West Lafayette, 41-21 at half. The Battle of the Unbeatens in 4A. Northwood, number two in 4A, up over the number four, New Haven Bulldogs, 22-20, that's at half. And then in 6A matchup, number seven, Carmel, 14 zip over number 11, Homestead, there at Homestead High School. Summit City Sports is live with that broadcast as well out there at Homestead High School the 6A Regional Championship down 14 zip tonight's broadcast ladies and gentlemen is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com follow us on Twitter at 260 sports like our Facebook page Summit City Sports and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel that you're watching this game on here this evening. Go ahead and hit subscribe. You'll be notified of all of all, all of our full game videos, highlight clips, and live streams as they do happen. Boozman with the kick as we're underway in that second half, and that's gonna be an illegal illegal procedure against Snyder. So Mitchell Walker will start with great field position to start the first possession of the half. But Snyder and the Panther defense coming up huge in that first half, going back to that first and goal from the five, and the Panthers ended up forcing a field goal attempt, just the fifth one of the season for Mishawaka. That was wide right to keep it nil-nil. And then the outburst of offensive firepower and special teams for Snyder has blown the game open 21 zip Mishawaka run 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 90 percent of the time and that's obviously not the easiest way to come back from a three touchdown deficit but they will have to move in a hurry as it will be second and four on the gain of six ball spotted at the 41. Mishawaka, they need to move quick. Obviously, plenty of time left here in the second half, but just not strong enough to throw the ball as they go option to that far side, finding space, cuts it back in out over the 50 near the 45 yard line. Tackle by number 11, Austin France. So nice run there for DeAndre Shaw, Jr. First and 10. Ball's on the 46 yard line of Snyder. Mishawaka needs to answer on this opening drive. Wabluski kept it and goes nowhere. Maybe a half yard gain. Second nine for Mishawaka. Regional final right here at Spooler Stadium, Summit City Sports. Fortunate to be live underneath the lights. Summit Athletic Conference champs, the number five in the state, Snyder Panthers up big, 21 zip. 
Mishawaka, Wabuski under center. And they're gonna hand on that straight lead. Number 44 there, Austin Faulkner. Gain of about four, bring up third and five for the cavemen. Dow on the stop for the Panthers. He's having a heck of a game We're on the defensive side of the ball, no question about it. Look at a pass. Good block on the edge, and can he go? Johnson somehow kept with them and brought him down at the 20, but that'll be a first down at the 21 yard. Pitch and catch. Nice play by Mishawaka. Must well, score here on this opening drive. Get some momentum back. Blueski calls out the play. We'll change it at the line, the senior. Under center. Faulkner and dropped. My number four, Ethan Hoover, leading tackler for Snyder. Second and three. Nine ten left in this third quarter. Mishawaka moving the ball on their opening drive of the second half. Faulkner again on that lead. Minimal gain. Under nine minutes. Third and short. Another big down. This is going to be four down territory. No question about it. For head coach Bart Curtis. Down three touchdowns. Officially third and two, ball's on the 12. Bluski under center. Faulkner, and Faulkner just shy of that touchdown. Ball's there at the two yard line, first and goal for the caveman on that two. Moving the ball here at will. The Mishawaka to start their opening drive of the second half, looking to punch it in from two yards out. Last time they were this close, the Panthers came up big on defense. The Blueskies might change the play here. I think he did under center. And they're gonna pitch it near side. I believe that's Daniels. Good cut against the grain. Daniels takes it in for the two yard score. The first one for Mishawaka, 21-6. In for the PAT. Cut. That's Kozlowski for the PAT. Carl Fisher, the sophomore with the hold. Snap, hold, kick is up. High one. Does he fit it in that left eye upright? He does, barely. 21-7, so a big answer coming out of the break for Mishawaka, getting the score on the board to pull 21-17 here with 7.58 left in this third quarter. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The talent, the outstanding explosive player, Mac Hippenhammer back, has already taken a punt. 87 yards, the distance for a score to end that first half. They're gonna cut it short. Money Woods, he's a dangerous up man. Money Woods, he can break it, has the speed. Out near the 50, tackled at the 46 yard line. So good return on that up kick. Money Woods was there, as it is not only Mac Hippenhammer. Five, five, 
Snyder looking to answer on their first possession of this second half. Money Woods behind Hopper in the pistol. Looking to pass on the hitch near side. Good hop step and move. Beautiful play. Yards after the catch. Outstanding play by number 21, the senior Jordan Gorman. 17-yard gain for the Panthers to open up their first possession of this second half. Hand off the woods, bounces it wide. Outstanding tackle by number five, Brian Luke Campbell. Shoestring tackle, that would have definitely been broken by Woods, may have gained about 20, 25 yards, had a lot of space to that far side. Second nine on that one yard gain from Woods. Hoppert gets the call from the sideline. Hands off to Woods, Woods finds the hole, makes a miss, bounces it wide at the 30, cuts it back in against the grain, then finally tackled by a group of cavemen. Now uh, that's a 24. First down for the Panthers. Trying to answer the cavemen score on their opening drive of that second half. First and 10. Wood stays in behind Hopper. Hopper in the pistol. Hands to Woods. Woods has space in his inner side and then corralled. Nice defensive play on containment. Led by number 38 in white, Kevin Banks. Second on the squad in tackles. Check it. He leaped. Nope. Yeah, that was right. Second on the team in tackles. A 64 coming into tonight. We'll bring up second and eight. Six minutes left in this third quarter. Ball spotted at the 22 yard line. Woods stays behind Hoppert. Who's in the pistol? Hand to Woods. Woods has space at that far side. Hesitation move, cuts it out. Stumbles, keeps his feet, and then tackled out over the 10 yard line to about the six. And Mishawaka, they come up with it. The signal goes to the caveman. What a huge play and turn of events. Money Woods fumbles, and the caveman will take over as Snyder was moving the ball at will. What a huge momentum change, but we do have a flag down on the field. Let's see what the call is. This is after the unsportsmanlike conduct. That'll go against Snyder. So we'll give Mishawaka some room away from their own end with a chance to cut it to a one score game. Ball spotted at the 20 for Mishawaka, down by 14. Far side, they did hand to Faulkner on that lead. Gain of about six. Check at seven, second and three. Five and a half left in this third quarter. Mishawaka, hand up lead on that Faulkner. Made about a yard and a half gain there. We'll bring up third and short for Mishawaka. Snyder trying to help off the offense once again on another turnover. Snyder's third of the game. Third and one. And Faulkner did get it. He's out over the line of scrimmage. That'll be a first down or out over the first down marker. First and 10 for Mishawaka on that lead by Faulkner. First and 10 on the 32 motion. Rogluski keeps it and explodes. Out of the backfield, out over the 40 to the 41. Gain of about nine will bring up second and short. K 
brave men. Have the momentum after the score coming out of the break. And picking up that Money Woods fumble. Now trying to move the ball down the field. Hand to Faulkner. Stop short right at that line of scrimmage. We'll bring up third and short. For Mishawaka, under four minutes left in this third quarter. Big play here in front of us. And Faulkner does get the first down easily on about a five, six yard gain. First and 10 for the caveman on the 40. Six yard line. Carmel puts another touchdown on the board. They are up 21 zip with 10 12 left in the third quarter. Carmel obviously playing in that best conference in the state of Indiana. It's got space. Daniels on this near side, then sandwiched. They're trying to strip that, strip that ball. And we'll be spotted at the 42. Nice play there from Mishawaka. They are moving the ball at will right now against Snyder. Adam Central up 16-7. Mid third. First and 10, 245 left. Hand to Faulkner, and dropped. Faulkner wanted the face mask call, you could see it. Officials obviously did not. Gain of two, second and eight. Two fifteen left in this third quarter. Blueski hands to Faulkner again. Out near the 35 yard line, just short. They're going to mark it at the 36, gain of four. We'll bring up third and four. So, once again, third and short for Mishawaka. Snyder has not been able to stop him on these third and shorts here in this second half. Did it at will in the first. Blueski. Hands to Faulkner and stopped immediately. McDowell and Johnson and Johnson and company with the stop to bring up fourth and three. Mishawaka will go for it, obviously. 0 for 1 on the night. We're going to have a timeout on this huge, huge play of this game. Bart, Bart Curtis wants a timeout to talk about it with fourth and three. Ball's on the 35-yard line, minute 11 left here in this third quarter. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com is live from Spooler Stadium. Snyder up 21-7, fourth and three. Out of the timeout called by Mishawaka, 111 left in this third quarter. Huge play right in front of us. Rabluski keeps it and is stopped short. No gain at all. And for the second time of the game, a turnover. On downs, led by big number 90, Lawrence Johnson, who's having a heck of a game here against the number six, Mishawaka Caveman. So Snyder will take over first and 10 from their own 34-yard line, minute 05 left. Update from Homestead, 644 left in the third quarter. Carmel 
Up 21-7 as Homestead punches one in. Update from Zollner Stadium. On the first drive for Concordia to open up the second half. Peter, Peterson Curligrand takes a one yard touchdown in. Concordia up big, 48-20 over West Lafayette. Hip and hammer in at the quarterback slot. And if you've seen my broadcast or heard, that's gonna be a face mask on Mishawaka. Snyder got away with one on that last drive and now Mishawaka, not the same luck. They're gonna get hit with that per I think that's just going to be the five-yard variety. It should be at least. That's what it's going to be, five-yard penalty. Redo it first and five. Twenty-one-seven. We're under a minute left in the third. Hopper back. And at the pistol, hands to Covington. Covington has a hole, shimmer and shake in. Cuts it back near side, runs into the back of his own player, and then finally tackled by number 21, Noah Staten. What a big run for Christian Covington. Ball spotted at the 41 of Mishawaka. 36 seconds left in this third quarter. Hopper. Empty backfield, watch for the draw here. Nope, they're gonna go on that quick hitch. Out wide, cuts it, makes another one miss. And the tackling just a bit shaky for Mishawaka. Nice pitch and catch to Covington. Gain of six, second and four for the Panthers. 15 seconds remaining in this third and Snyder's just gonna wind it down and go into this break up. 21-7 at the end of three. The Snyder Panthers, 12 minutes away from moving on to semi-state. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. This is SummitCitySports.com. Please follow us on Twitter at 260Sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel that you're watching this regional action on here this evening. Start of the fourth quarter, second and four. Hopper in the pistol. He's going to put hip and hammer in motion. Play action. They're going to run to Covington up the middle and stop immediately. Number 32, beautiful tackle. Derek Dawson, just a freshman, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful play for the linebacker. Third and four. Big play for this caveman defense. Down 21-7. Covington, second effort, still is short. He's going to be about a yard short. We'll bring up fourth in about one. They're going for it is head coach Kurt Tittman. D'Andrew Stroud checks in, the big fella. He'll line up at the fullback position. Covington will dot that eye. One wide receiver is hip and hammer. He's far. Hip hopper under center. And a beautiful play by Michael Hopper, the junior quarterback with the hard count. The caveman defensive line jumps off sides. And first down for Snyder. What a heads up play by the junior quarterback under center with the hard count. First and 10 on the 27. Stroud stays in there. 
He's on the right hip of Hoppert. Hoppert, he'll hand it to Covington. Covington lowers the shoulder. Forward progression will mark him off the 27 yard line. But once again, the freshman led that for Mishawaka. Kevin Banks. Second and 10 for Snyder. 10 minutes left in this regional championship game. And they're going to have a false start against Snyder. Move them back five yards. Second and 15 for Snyder. 9.52 left. Hopper in the pistol. Covington is behind. And we may have another five yard penalty against Snyder. It looks like they moved early once again. They exactly did do that with 9.40 left. Back to back false starts for Snyder going in the wrong direction. Ball spotted at the 37 yard line of the Cavemen, second and 20. Hopper in that pistol, Covington. Hopper's gonna look to throw, hip and hammer on that out. Nope, he's gonna go far side and dropped at the original line of scrimmage. Dropped by Nakasen. Would have got all that penalty yardage back, but is dropped third and 20. Ball still on the 37 yard line, make it 38. Nope, that's on the 37. Three wide receiver set. Covington in the backfield. Hopper's gonna drop back, look to pass. Has time, he's gonna tuck it and run. This kid's got wheels out over the 20 and out of bounds over the 20 yard line. It's gonna be about fourth and one, maybe a half yard. Coach Kurt Tittman, I guarantee you, is gonna go for this. Let's see if Stroud checks back in the game. They're actually gonna bring in both the big fellas. Simon Dellinger, the 6'5", 230 pound sophomore tight end, and big fella number six, DeAndrew Stroud. Along with half the tight end on that far side. Covington made a miss and that was the difference. Did get penetration, did the freshman linebacker for Mishawaka Banks, but Covington made a miss and picked up the first down on the two yard run. First and 10, Snyder. <laughs> Hopper under center, one wide receiver set. On the counter. Covington tried to cut it back, lost his footing, and then slips and is marked down at the 11-yard line. Gain of five, second and six for the Panthers. 8.38 left in this contest. Northwood. Puts another touchdown up, 30-20, wide open is number 91, Simon Dellinger, the sophomore tied in. What a play by Snyder to add six to the 14-point lead, make it a 20-point advantage for the Panthers. Boozman in for the PAT. Andrew McCready in. Two hold. And number one, Bryce and half on the snap. Hold, beautiful play by the holder. Took that high snap, did McGrady and put it down perfectly for Boozman. And Snyder 
answers Mishawaka with a score of their own. 28-7, the Snyder Panthers on top and in control. Another, get back to that update. Northwood now up 30 to 20 over New Haven. They're up in Napanee, Indiana. Last I heard from Concordia was 48-20. We'll try to get you an update from there as well. So Boozman in to kick with eight, 818 left in this game. Obviously, the caveman could use a big return. Boozman with the boot and does blast that one. Fielded by Daniels at the six. Look at the speed, cuts it out wide. Can it get away from the tackler? He cannot. Demarius Ridley tracks him down and trips him up. First and 10 for Mishawaka, down by 21. Eight twelve left in this fourth. Mishawaka needs a score in a hurry, obviously. Far side and does stay in bounds, I believe. Loose ball. Snyder picked it up. And it is a turnover. Fumbled on that far side by Daniels. Picked up by Snyder. And they will take over first and 10 with 8.04 left in this game. What a huge play by that Snyder Panther defense once again. Snyder takes over, first and 10 on the 37 yard line, hands to Money Woods, Money takes it out over the 35 yard line near the 30, stop just short, I'm gonna spot it at the 32 yard line. Northwood scores again, up big now, 38-20, they're at home against the New Haven Bulldogs. Northwood up big and in control. Hopper and the pistol. He's going to keep Woods with him, and he's going to hand. Woods, he'll cut it far side, then bounce it back inside near that first down marker, about a yard and a half short. We'll bring up third and short for the Panthers. Tonight's broadcast, of course, brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. In part, thanks to Parkview Sports Medicine and Sports Center, Inc. None of it would be possible, of course. Anyone out there can sponsor any Summit Athletic Conference, or excuse me, any Summit City Sports live stream, highlights, seasons, you name it. Contact myself, T. Atkinson, at SummitCitySports.com or our majority owner, Jeff Mahoney, at jmahoney at SummitCitySports.com. Woods dipping and diving. Left to right, stop, stop and drop it on a dime. Takes it out for another first down for Snyder with 640 left in this game. Mishawaka needs a miracle here against this Panther squad who is feeling and can taste this regional championship. Hopper under center, Stroud in, and they'll hand to Woods. Woods is tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. Maybe got it back to that line of scrimmage. The big fella, number 88, Andrew, excuse me, number 88, Jonathan Lewis, the senior from Mishawaka on the stop. Six minutes left in the game. Hopper's gonna pass. Somehow got rid of it, and Stroud does catch it to keep the clock moving. 
Outstanding play. Michael Hopper has been on top of his games, but for the two mistakes, can't even put that first, that interception on him. It was a 50-50 ball that was won by Mishawaka, but he did have that one fumble, but has bounced back. He's been on the mark most of the contest and looking extremely well. Hopper under center, Stroud the fullback, and that's Woods. He'll take it, tries to bounce it wide, then spins back inside over the 20. Small gain, gain of three, four. Woods will bring up fourth and about four for Snyder. Clock is rolling, we're under five minutes left in the game. See what Coach Tittman chooses to do here. 22 on the play clock. And they will call, they'll take this play clock all the way to one, and then Coach Tippman will get the timeout call, and he'll probably bring in Boozman for the field goal. But they are fourth and five timeout to talk about it. Let's see what Coach Tippman chooses to do. But 427 left, Snyder up 28 27 in control against the number six, Michelle Walker. Caveman Snyder looking to move on to semi-state and beating the Mishawaka Caveman two straight years in this regional championship game. So 427 left. And that is Boozman in for the kick. The hold, you'll see the ball spotted at the 18. 35 yard field goal attempt here for Boozman to try to put him up 31-7. Hold is down, Boozman plenty of leg. He blasted that one and threw the uprights. Outstanding kick from 35 yard from Paul Boozman to put Snyder up 31-7 with 422 left in the contest. The number one Panthers are rolling here against the Cavemen. The Cavemen did have chances early in this contest but could not capitalize on the Snyder Panther turnovers. As the Snyder defense come up big, go back to that first and goal from the five yard line and Snyder Ended up forcing the field goal, which was missed. And from there, Snyder has not looked back. They're up 31-7. And Boozman will kick. Up big. So 422 left. Boozman. Ball bounces out to 10. And it will roll in for a touchback. First and 10 from their own 20 yard line. Will Mishawaka start this drive down 31 7 here at Spooler Stadium, home of the Snyder Panthers? Again, want to give a big shout out and thank you to Athletic Director Steve Zimbo, always an outstanding host and all sports for Snyder for Summit City Sports. 31-7. Mishawaka, Blueski under center, is gonna hand to Faulkner. Out over the 25 to the 26 yard line. Mishawaka's gotta go quick here. Tackled by France. 
Under four minutes. So they do go quick and get a play in there, third and four. You want to go quick, but you also need chunks of yardage to make up this difference with limited time left. On the option, Wabluski will keep it. And near that first down marker, I think they will give it to him. 325 clock is rolling. Ball's at the 30, first and 10 for Mishawaka. Wabluski hands to Faulkner. That's going to be legal motion as the penalty comes down on this near side. 3.07, clock is stopped on this penalty. Ball spotted at the 30 on the no gain. New Haven down 38-20 late in that third quarter to Northwood, and that is a legal motion against Northwood. Back them, bounce them back five. Concordia up big, 55-20 over West Lafayette. So looking like two SAC schools of the three will move on to the semi-state round. And beautiful catch behind him, breaks a tackle, tries to bring it out near side, and pushed out of bounds. Isaiah Evans, nice catch behind him. First down for Mishawaka, but limited time left, 247 in this fourth. Down big, but Concordia up 55-20 late in the third. Peterson Gerlagrand with four TDs on 163 yards rushing. Outstanding senior. Hand to Faulkner, up the middle, out over the 50, and then push back. John L. Hogue, junior on that stop for Snyder. Two twenty-five left, clock is ticking for the Cavemen. Down 31-7 in this regional final. Trying to avoid two years in a row losing. Did he get a foot down? No, he did not, was out of bounds. But Ridley was looking for the pick, saw it all the way, but out of bounds, could not keep the feet in. Third and seven for Mishawaka. Clock is stopped at 2.14 on the incompletion. Mishawaka, 31, down 31-7. I'm going to give a big thanks again to our sponsors, Parkview Sports Medicine and Sports Center Inc. Nothing would be possible without those two sponsors, no doubt about it. All you companies out there, parents, whatever, you can contact us for highlight videos for your student athlete as well as sponsor anything and everything that SummitCitySports.com does here for the Summit Athletic Conference and the surrounding area. As we do it, because we love it, ladies and gentlemen, we love covering these Fort Wayne area athletes as the talent level in the city and in the Summit Athletic Conference continues to rise, which is not good news for the rest of the state of Indiana in all sports, pitch near side, came up and stopped, was number 13, Vince Campbell, and number four, Ethan Hoover, no gain, second and 10. But we do it because we love it, ladies and gentlemen, no doubt about it. Jake Atkinson on the camera here tonight, Tim Atkinson, myself calling your play-by-play. -play. Check out the schedules, see where we will be next Friday night. Follow us on Twitter at 260sports. You can follow me on Twitter at Tim Mackinson 22 Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel that you're watching this live stream on here this evening. We'll be live next week as it looks like 
Snyder and Concordia will both be moving on to semi-state. Looking like Homestead is gonna fall there to Carmel. When update South Adams and their upset run has ended, they fall to Eastbrook 28-21. Heck of a season for South Adams. Fourth and one for the caveman. We're under a minute left in the contest. Forty seconds on the clock. They're going to pitch it wide to Daniels. Beautiful play, Ethan Hoover. He leads the squad and tackles for a reason. The kid can read it so well. Turnover on downs. First and ten for Snyder with 32 seconds left. And the best formation in football you're about to see. A victory formation for head coach Kurt Tittman and continuing the undefeated run. They'll move to 12 and 0 and into semi-state. And beating Mishawaka again in this regional championship. Last year, 42-32. This year, at 31-7. Snyder coming up big. Mishawaka had their opportunities. No question about it as Michael Hoppert kneels on it. And that will end it here at Spooler Stadium. What a win. Snyder moves on to semi-state. Make sure you check out Summit City Sports. And I want to give a big shout out to the big fellas up front for Snyder. That offensive line did an outstanding job. And number 55, Colton Hinton. Number 58, Will Schwartz. Number 59, Jackson Reed. Number seven, Zenden Dellinger. And number 72, Garrett Carroll. The big fellas up front for Snyder controlled the line of scrimmage and that proved to be a huge difference in the game, along with the defensive studs for the Snyder Panther defense. Coming up big when they had to and shutting down this high potent offense, averaging 31 points a game, holding them to only seven. Woo! Take a breath, Snyder Panther fans, you're moving on to semi-state. Congratulations, Summit Athletic Conference champs and the 5A state defending title winner, the Snyder Panthers move on. Well, thanks for joining us here on our YouTube channel, SummitCitySports.com. Couldn't be prouder, wouldn't be anywhere else but under the lights here Friday night in Fort Wayne, Indiana and the Summit Athletic Conference. For Jake Atkinson, I am Tim Atkinson. Thank you for joining us.